Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. Oh, welcome to my channel, The Simple Happy Life. I'm Sabrina, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what we're doing for financial literacy this year. We're gonna be studying it on Fridays, AKA Financial Fridays. So I'm gonna be sharing with you um, what that, I guess I'll call it a unit, looks like for us this year. So as a part of a money unit, I felt like, you know, I should pull out the money that we have, um, our play money. This tray just dropped as I put it on the table to show you guys. So all the coins have been mixed up, but this will be a nice activity for them to do, right? Go back and sort the coins. Um, so as we learn about money and currency, these are some things I will pull in to our lessons. This is a cash register we have had for a long time. We've actually had both of these for years. This one has been with us since Aiden was probably about maybe two. <laughs> it's been a long time, um, but it's fun because the drawer pops out and this fell too. So they can sort all that. Um, but this is fun. Got a little pretend credit card and um, this is the old sticky pad that we've had. It doesn't come with this, but it does come with one. Um, so I will have this um, on the table as we are um, doing our math or our money lessons. Now on Fridays, we won't do math lessons and we will do our financial literacy. And like with all the other units um, in our math lessons, you guys know we use Right Start Math. And I chose that curriculum because it is heavy on games and we pretty much play a game with every lesson. Um, and my kids learn through games. They learn to count money through games. We didn't really do any worksheets or anything like that for that. This is how they learn to count coins, money bags. Um, and they learn how to do it in like a week. They loved it and I love playing games. So this is one that we will be playing. I'll just have this set up on the table um, and we will start our lessons with this. Life is another good one. Um, as well as Monopoly, of course. And so I'm sure some of you probably have those um, themed ones. I've thought about getting a theme one. Maybe for Christmas, we'll we'll choose another themed one. Um, like, I don't know, they have National Park, Star Wars, Pokemon. I feel like they have so many. I don't even know. But they learn how to count money playing Monopoly. So this is um, always fun for us to start pretty much any unit um, as we go into the actual lesson to start with the game. So those are the games and um, the money um that will put on the table for fun as we start. And that's, you know, a lot of learning in and of itself as well. So this is the book. I've shared this in my haul recently, the books that we're going to be using for our financial um, unit. And so this one's all about money, business, uh, economics, through the thinking tree. I like this um, company. They have um, a lot of fun resources. Now, we're not going to be able to get through all of this in a year. We're just, we're just not. I see us getting through this in the fall because we're going to take our time with it. This says for 10 and up, but I think my guys can handle it. So the way that it works is they have these worksheets and often there is a YouTube video to go along with it. Um, they have these worksheets or recording sheets so you can record your findings. So I am excited about that. My guys love YouTube and we use a lot of screens in our homeschool. Um, so this will just be another fun way to incorporate screens and YouTube. So we will watch the video. We will, um, um, or watch videos and record our results along with, um, using these books, which I also shared in that haul, my recent haul, um, and so these books we will use to find answers to record in our notebooks. Um, so this one su is suggested to go along with this. It's Whatever Happened to Penny Candy. And I would probably just read this one myself and then um, kind of give it, talk back the information to the boys or kind of give it to them in a story because um, this might go over Cameron's head. Um, so I got this one because I felt like it would be um, a better fit for my kid's age. And it has a lot, well, pretty much has all of the same concepts covered. And so they will be able to find answers in this book 
to record in their notebooks. And so as our library becomes, I guess, more um, accessible or just easier to check out things, I will probably go and grab some other um, books to um, aid in this uh, in this unit. But for now, I think this will be fine along with finding some online resources. So they're looking forward to this. They've already started reading through this. Um, and they just had a lot of questions about money. We've, um, I shared that we, um, have recently, um, I guess in the last couple of months started using green light. And so my boys, I'm just going to show you the contents while I talk through that. Um, and so my boys get paid for community chores. So not their room, not their bathroom, cause that's their stuff to maintain, but like the dishes, and taking out the trash, mopping, watering the plants, that type of stuff, they get paid for on Fridays. And when the money um, goes into their goes onto their cards, um, we have it so that they can um, they get paid. They also have um, a certain percentage allocated for tithing and donations, and then for savings in that green light account. They also have a savings account with our bank that um, we ask family if they want to give them gifts. Um, they could put money in that and we can use that for summer camps. They can use it for um, fun things that they want to try or do um, coding things. They really like coding. So to pay for certain subscriptions, and that's a really nice way for family to gift them and uh, with things that keep on giving and add to their um, skill set. So that is how we are using green light. And another way we are um, incorporating financial literacy. I don't want my boys to feel overwhelmed or fearful or not how, not know how to talk about money or, um, use their money and make it work for them. I feel like I and my husband were taught to save our money and credit was bad. Um, and that was pretty much the extent of what pay your taxes. Um, that was the extent of our financial literacy because we didn't learn it in school and that's what our parents told us. So we want our boys to, uh, know different, know a little more as we're still learning and, and we can teach them. So that is what we are doing this year. This isn't meant to overwhelm my kids or, um, you know, take away their childhood or make them have worries about things that they shouldn't be worried about, but really just to, um, to give them knowledge. I think we introduce a lot of things to our children young, um, so that they have knowledge about it and they can build on that knowledge. And so why not money be one of those things they learn young? So Y'all know I love a DK book, um, but that's it guys. That is what we're doing on Fridays, financial Fridays, and we will be doing this all year long and I'm just really excited about it. So we're the guys. So I just, um, I printed this off of line. I bought it from the company, purchased a PDF, printed it off and used my, um, happy planner hole punch and some discs, uh, to put it together. And Cameron um, is green, so I put a green back on his. Aiden's is blue, so he has a green back, a blue back. Um, and I probably will um, laminate this first page so it's a little more durable. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching and spending some time with me today. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. If you have any um, um, financial literacy for children's books that you have shared with your kids or that you enjoy, um, would you drop them in the comments below for me, for all of us, um, as well as any entrepreneurial books that you, um, for kids that you have found helpful, or maybe that you want to try yourself. So, um, thanks again for watching. Remember to give a like, if you've enjoyed this subscribe, if, um, you are interested in seeing more homeschool videos soon, I think I will be um, sharing some more home organizing videos as well as going back to sharing some of my planner videos because I've started using my planner again. <laughs> I kind of just stopped using it, um, in March. And so I picked it back up and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like things are, are moving again. And so um, maybe I'll be sharing some of those videos with you soon as well. I hope you all are doing well and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.